Good morning, folks. Uh, meteorologist Jim Howard here with you on this Wednesday morning, January 10th. Uh, your latest first alert forecast featuring quieter weather, at least uh, the rain's done. Severe risk done, clouds moving out, still a bit windy out there, still going to gust to 40 at times this morning, but tapering down on the winds through the day, generally 15 uh, to 2025. 20, Again, getting lighter later, some of those gusts to near 40. High top at about 51, cooler day, uh, air temps dropping behind the front and the rain. This was yesterday at 3 p.m. Severe weather as expected rolling in 5, 6, 7 o'clock. This was the line of severe storms. Had some pockets of severe weather out ahead of that 6, 7 o'clock. Roll that along 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, all these storms producing a strong and severe wind gusts as they rolled through the area uh, last night. Headed to the coast, that was back at 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Had a couple of potential tornadoes uh, come down out of that system. I'll show you that in just a sec. Uh, midnight, just about a done deal. The last of the rain getting off the coast at around oh midnight 1 a.m. These are just a lingering shower or two in the morning. They should be done by sunrise. Storm reports all the broken trees generally wind damage. But I can tell you Harker's Island Weather Service is saying they may have had a tornado down there around nine o'clock and then Stumpy Point area, Dare County, Roanoke Island, possible tornado there as well. So the Weather Service will likely be going out and checking out damage to see if they had a tornado there. Uh, a lot of trees down in Craven County, down into Onslow County, Carteret County. Uh, my power was out this morning. I'm in Southern Pitt County. There were uh, power outages scattered throughout the area. You don't see all the storm reports on that map. That was statewide, not just us. What a mess. Rain totals generally came in about a half an inch. All right, where you see the greens, that was two inches. I'm sorry, an inch and a half, not a half an inch. One to two inches, about an inch and a half on average. Uh, pockets of two in here, but 1.5s, maybe an inch out on the coast when it was all said and done. Got a coastal flood warning hanging on through 3 p.m. for the Outer Banks, still running two to four above normal. Wind advisory through 8 a.m. this morning. Again, wind's getting lighter through the morning, so we'll get those gusts down later, but still hitting 40, maybe 45 through sunrise mid-morning or so. All right, air temp low 50s falling into the mid 40s at sunrise. There's those winds coming in at 20 with gusts 35 to near 40. That's at 5 a.m. those wind gusts. And I'll track those for you into the day. You can see we get towards 11 a.m. midday into the 20s into the afternoon. Still coming down 20 to 25 overnight. There we go. Relax those winds into Thursday uh, about 15 on those max winds. So under 20 tomorrow uh, much calmer all righty uh, temps versus wind chills now with the wind today uh, the highs will probably make it to 50 or over by a click but we never really feel like we get out of the 30s to 40s uh, through the day today so the the severe risk and the active weather's done but windy at times and chilly i would call it today big map uh, looks pretty good for a couple of days got another system coming friday snows up over the great lakes we're good Get you into tomorrow again. Map stays quiet. Tracking this storm. Uh, check it out as it ejects out of the west. Headed to the east coast. Thursday's good. Friday morning should be good. There's 7 a.m. Friday. Fast moving storm. And here we go again. Uh, late Friday, Friday night. You know, more scattered showers. Some thunderstorms Friday night potentially. Could be another strong storm or two there. But it's out by sunrise Saturday. Uh, back to quiet for the weekend. So late Friday, Friday night. Our next shot of active weather. We settle in for a little bit of a quieter run through the weekend into Monday. All righty, yeah, check it out. 51 to 57 today, tomorrow. Again, still windy to breezy later. First alert weather day late Friday, more so Friday night for that risk for a few overnight storms. Uh, kind of analyzing the data as we get closer here. Uh, not nearly as powerful as the last front that came through yesterday. But nevertheless, still some active weather there. Weekend looks good. Mid 50 Saturday, upper 40 Sunday, a little chilly. Slight chance for a raindrop Monday, Tuesday. Look at those highs. Middle of next week, upper 40s.